This is the Imperial Valley of California, in the far southern end of the state. Its agricultural zone spans some 450,000 acres. More than two-thirds of the vegetables consumed in the U.S. during winter come from the Imperial Valley, but more than half of the region is not suited for vegetables. Those other acres may soon be home to a new kind of crop, one designed to fuel cars rather than people. A biofuel company, Canergy, is field testing a cousin of sugar cane called Energy Cane. The crop is designed to be a highly productive feedstock for cellulosic ethanol. The company sources cane plants from the U.S. Department of Agriculture. They arrive in small pots. Canergy is testing 17 varieties of Energy Cane. Workers must carefully transplant each of the tiny specimens, called plantlets, into trays. The plants get fertilizer, water, and a lot of attention. Each batch and variety is carefully tracked and monitored. The goal is to find varieties that grow quickly and show vigor. Energy cane is grown for its biomass, and the entire plant will be used to make cellulosic sugar. After six months, the plants are boxed up to go into a 100-acre field. They are planted in raised rows and watered to give them a head start. Like other crops in the Imperial Valley, they are irrigated with water from the Colorado River. After two months in the field, these plants have filled out a little. This energy cane has been in the ground for five months. In one year, the energy cane will grow to over 10 feet. Each mature plant will have about 30 stalks. Each of those stalks can be used to grow a new plant. Since it's a perennial grass, the crop can be harvested for five to 10 years before being replanted. To harvest the biomass, farmers can use the same machinery used for sugarcane. Canergy expects to make 1,800 to 2,200 gallons of ethanol from each acre of energy cane per year. That's about five times the amount of ethanol that can be made from one acre of corn. For Chemical and Engineering News, this is Melody Baumgartner.